you guys ever wondered why streamers have zero recoil like this? Well, today I broke down the top no recoil classes alongside tips to improve your guys' aim. And the first weapon of choice is going to be this beautiful M4A1. And it's on the list for the most popular ARs of all times, considering it's been in every Call of Duty possible. And this is just one of the many goods we're going to cover today that all these streamers use to have zero recoil. And making sure with the right attachments. Oh my goodness. Oh, dude. Literally anybody, even this Nodi gang right here, could use it. Oh. Uh oh, yup. Later, Burger Man. That literally looks like that looks like Tina Tavin. I'm not even kidding. And with each class, I show you guys not only is the recoil gonna decrease more and more, but I'll also be sharing you guys a tip with each gun before I get the win. Oh my God, it helps. Sure, you guys. I don't know. Did I kill him? What was that? Oh my God, I don't even know what just happened. But basically, to help with that recoil situation you guys have. Oh my goodness. Oh. Dude, my grandma can literally use this gun. Oh my god, sorry about that, Papa Kev. No way. Oh. oh my god. This F4A1 also is a really good maneuvering AR. Which is gonna help me get out of situations like this pretty easily. Woo! Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Oh. oh, let's go, baby. Okay, okay, okay. And what you'll notice with a lot of guns, you both have the vertical and the horizontal recoil to worry about. To counter that vertical recoil, a lot of players, if you use a controller, hold down just a little bit on your right analog stick. Instead of using that same method here, oh God. Instead of using that same method to kind of cancel out your guys' horizontal, what most players and streamers start doing is they start strafing their character to the left and right using their left analog stick. Now with M4A1, it's not too much where you have too many, uh, too much horizontal recoil, but it's enough that where you could strafe and basically look like you're cheating. Oh my goodness. Through the wall. Yes, sir. Because if you guys are not just focused on damage and focused on the recoil and the overall versatility of the weapon, you guys are going to want to use the attachments I have for each gun I show you guys today. We're ending though. We got to lock in here. There's still 19 up. I don't even know. Oh my goodness. Got him. Who's this guy? Dandos? What are you playing? There's that no recoil, baby. There's that no recoil. Last guy. Oh my god! Oh, Bernadotti gave us the next gun! And the next gun is a pro player build. The TAC 56. This bad boy right here. Gonna be the gun we're using today, especially because the bullets that we use. Now, a lot of times, players will start using the barrel for their AR to increase the damage at range, but... It could actually affect the recoil pattern and the ADS speed, of course. Oh, God. Messi. Messi doesn't even know what to do. Oh, God. Through the wall, too. Messi don't even know what to do. My God. Messi. Messi. Messi don't even know what to do, baby. Boom. But more recently, a lot of players have been switching their barrel for an ammo change, which not only helps the damage at range, but the bull velocity as well. Sorry, I had, to, I had to. I had to put you down, Pops. And what we use already strafing to help with the horizontal recoil control, it also comes down to controlling the vertical. Now, the biggest problem I see with a lot of players is that they tend to switch their loadout almost every day. Now, unless you're somebody who can put in as much time as these streamers here, by continuously changing the weapon you guys use, you are changing the muscle memory you guys already know with the recoil pattern of the gun of your choice. And there's an easy way to prevent that. I'll share with you guys what that is here in a second. Oh my God. Now we're getting flown in on. From everybody. Three these guppies. Without a sight, we're still hitting literally 90% of our shots right now. Through the wall. Oh my goodness. But this tag beat without a sight is actually so magical. Oh my goodness. Even up close. Oh. Oh my god. In terms of the tag 56 we have here for you guys, though, that bullet and the suppressor combo is pretty much what's going to help. Anybody who's kind of focusing, dude, what, what was that? Focus on recoil to get literally three picks like that. Oh god. It does not stand a chance. Doing a flank of the night dragon right now. With attack 56. We're controlling the recoil. Oh, you're gonna get snaked. And put down, baby. Oh my god. Rick and Morty, you're done. Show's canceled. I'll see you later. Oh my god. We're endgame though. Let's lock in here. 
Oh my god, this gun hits so hard as well. What the heck? Why haven't I used this before? Dude, this is why all the pros are using it. My god. 19 players up. Tiny ass little zone. Oh my god, the iron sights as well. Gu using guns like this without gun kick control isn't as bad as what it might seem to be. That's why as the games go on and as we stack up these wins, we'll make sure to get to the ultimate loadout by the end of this video. Oh my god, I'm cheating. On me, turtle man. Oh my god. One guy left. Let's see if I can find him. Let's see if he's right here. Throw that camera at him. He's one shot. Someone, someone assassinate this guy. I want his head. I want his head. Give it to him. I want his head. <laughs> Bam, baby, next gun. The next gun we're talking about actually decreases recoil as soon as you do it. And with that, we're going to be using the Rap H LMG, showing that even with an LMG, you can have zero recoil. And of course, if you guys want the gun to hit like this, you're going to have to make sure to use the exact attachments and tuning that you guys at the end of this game. Now, some of you guys might already notice what I'm doing. If you guys do, make sure you guys guess in the comments down below. But this simple trick, I think a lot of players have forgot because it's been around since like original Call of Duty. But let me just say this rap age is actually. Oh my god. God, tell me why this thing literally shoots as fast as a vector, bro. Wait, is that guy taking? But no way. Hope we took hope we took the whip. Oh. I mean, look at this bad boy. That guy's doing 360s. Can't even escape his faith. Look at this. One, two. Easy as that, baby. Now, with this one trick I'm doing, there's actually two variations of what you can do with it. And by doing it, if you're still missing shots, then the problem's not the game. It's definitely you. Oh, God. Let me juice up here. There's still so many. Oh, I thought he was going to get away, huh? I think there's still more up. Yep, they're all flying down here. I'm sure you guys with zero recoil, it looks like. Hold on. Easy. Way too easy. Oh, way too easy. The only downside is honestly the reload time rather than just the weight of the gun. You're done. You're done. But I mean, I made it take out like four or five guys at once and it's not that big of an issue. His teammates are here for backup. So backup they were, huh? Oh my God, what is happening? Oh my god, okay. The one technique I am doing that actually decreases the recoil be visually seen by just crouching here. Your crosshairs actually get tighter and tighter as you put yourself in a more stale position. Standing up and then crouching and then laying down. Your crosshairs are gonna get a lot tighter, making it easier to hit your shots like that. Like that. And like that. And like that, baby. <gasps> Boom! Next gun! And the next weapon of choice is gonna be this Amex looking cast off 762. Bringing back the meta from Warzone 1. We have it here today to help us learn how to center our weapon. And before I go in debt on how exactly to center and how it can improve your aim, Jesus, man, let's focus on this no recoil weapon right here. Not only has zero recoil, packs a punch too. Oh! Oh! It still isn't our number one weapon to date yet. Oh my gosh, Nest Quick. <sighs> I am lactose intolerant though. Oh god, we got people flying in like there's no tomorrow. It's my nose, center my gun, take a couple shots, put them down. Pull through the smoke and the fire and the flames. Oh, hello. <laughs> oh, we thought I did see him. Behind you, Matt. <laughs> I'm gone. Oh, I do. Oh, I knew I smelled a little rat. Come on, cast off, put some work in. Come on, cast off. Put some work in, baby. Come on, cast off! But a gun like this, which has a little bit more recoil than the other weapons, you guys use the tips I give you and control that recoil. It helps out because these are usually the hardest hitting weapons. Whoa! Woo. Up close, too. It's better. It's a way better. M4, A1 class. Oh my gosh. Oh, I think those are bots shooting at me. I'm like a mountain goat trying to climb up here. This is where centering is going to come into play. It'll be a lot harder, but. I'm um, gonna get those kills a lot easier, and I'll explain exactly how I'm doing it here in a second. I'll do it before we win this game, but before we move on to the best gun coming up. Although, no matter how good this gun is, it's still not gonna hold up to these guns we got coming up. Oh! 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 Boom! Oh my god! Oh! Who are you? Who are you, people? What just happened? God, okay, well, we're in game. The cat's off still doing good. Breaking armory. 
taking names. Is that how it goes? Oh, uh, airstrike. It comes down to center, and you're using that white dot to basically predict where that player might pop up. If you're looking too down or too up, it's going to cause a slower rate of ADS speed. So the time you use to perfect your aim and try to land in those shots could actually be used while just shooting your weapon if you have right center. And a lot of these pro players will even say themselves, man, that center is the most important part when it comes to mastering a game like Call of Duty. If you take games like CSGO, for example, those are players that literally have perfect center and predict where their opponents might pop up from. No, in front of me, in front of me. No, don't let him, don't let him fall, don't let him fall. Oh my god! Oh, baby, that's how you do it! And the next weapon of choice is actually not an AR, but a battle rifle. Arguably the hardest weapon category to control recoil, but I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it, even on weapons like this bad boy right here. And let me just say, this gun also, side note, freaking hits. Look at this. Boom. Boom, bro. This gun is a Chico. Come on now. Especially because this is a gun that a lot of pro players are using right now. Making sure you guys master not only the weapon, but the recoil pattern is going to be important. Oh, my. But also making sure you guys also don't switch your weapons as often. Find one weapon out of this. Out of the list I have for you guys today and just stick with it. Especially with that next one coming up. It might be a fan favorite. Oh, my God. This thing hits. Yeah, this thing hits hard. Yeah, this gun's a... I hear him. There it is. Instantly out the air, dude. Oh my, oh my God. He's straight. Oh my gosh, bro. I'm like living in a movie with this class. If you can control recoil on this weapon, you can control recoil on any weapons, especially the next one we got coming up, which is the number one spot. Not through the, not through the smokes like that though. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, bro. This gun. I still can't believe the next one is better than this. And I'm focusing on that one. Trick I showed you guys. That's helping me land a lot more shots, get a lot more kills, especially for my controller players who do lose the aim assist. But if you're on mouse and keyboard, it should work as well. This guy right here, he's not even gonna have a chance to react. He's done. God, bomb jump with a few players left, and we move on to that last class. What you'll notice I've been doing within all my gameplays so far, what you'll notice I'm doing is ADSing and un ADSing, especially if you guys lose aim assist. Because at times, especially when you're aiming through walls, turning on players like that, you're not always going to have aim assist. So you need ADS and then un ADS to kind of re-register on that controller. and also helps you with tracking as well. It's a lot faster to do this and this than it is to go here and drag your crosshairs to the right. Oh, my God. Oh, we're moving on to the last gun. Let's go. I'm showing you the no recoil hemlock right here, the number one class possible. I'll show you exactly why, too. Yup. That's why the hemlock's the best right there. Yeah, all gas station. Come on. Oh my god, through the wall. Uh, just like that, just like that, baby. Come on. It doesn't matter. Oh my god, I'm breaking armor like that. Yep. Over oh, cool hemlock. Doing, doing what it does best. Doing it what it does best. Another one, bridge. My god, bro. Notice with the hemlock, I'm able to do everything I told you guys I was doing in the last couple games. Control my recoil to make my shot literally look like I got a Cronus. Wow, I got him. Oh my god. You're so cute. They're in that room. I got one knocked. The other one has no place. Oh my god! I need AR if you guys have any. Oh my god. What? Come on! Let's go! My god!